know, in the old days, for Carter to be famous, they had to be in a hit movie or a big TV show. But these days, more people play video games. So if you want your car to be famous, you gotta be in something like Gran Turismo 6, even if your car is 40 years old. This is my 1966 Oldsmobile Toronado. It's been heavily modified. We've converted it to rear wheel drive and it's got over a thousand horsepower. That makes it a bit more exciting to drive than the ones that came off the production line. Still got a kick every time I drive this car. What we've done is built a modern chassis and set this 1960s body on it. The engine is a 427 with twin turbochargers on it and it puts out 1,076 horsepower on the dyno. It's like a giant sports car on steroids is what it is. And to get the most out of it, all you gotta do is kinda put your foot down. This car, although it has a lot of horsepower, you can't beat physics. It's a 4,000 pound car, easy. Because you have what appear to be stock looking tires, they're radials on this, they're not racing tires. So consequently, there's a tendency for the tires to break loose all the time. So you wanna be careful. Go into the corner, brake just going into the corner, midway through the corner, nail it, you'll feel the tail slide out, and just hang on. You always wanna have this thing pointed in a straight line. And she goes pretty good. Well, the Gran Turismo guys are real car nuts, and they came to my garage, and uh, they don't have cars like this in Japan. They don't have cars this big in Japan. And they were amazed at the size of it. And when I explained them what we had done to it, they said, oh, we gotta put that in the game. Now, I know this is a virtual Toronado because I didn't drive my real Toronado in Tokyo. That's how I know. See, if I did this in Tokyo, I would be in a lot of trouble. Well, it's, it's it, boom. It's hard to get a, a, a hold on the handling. I mean, it's, uh, they've got the physics of it down pretty good because the Tornado is a big, heavy car. And when you go into a corner a little too quickly, the weight shifts and you can feel it. It certainly accelerates like the real car. I mean, you hear the tires screeching. <laughs> I mean, it's, uh, it's pretty authentic. And the steering wheel fights you just the right amount. Well, the graphics are unbelievable. That's my dashboard. That's got the uh, rolling speedometer like the real Toronado has. It's, it's, uh, <laughs> the attention to detail is pretty amazing. Well, the more you drive it, the better you get at it, obviously. And uh, you've got a tremendous amount of road feel coming through the steering wheel. And it does, it does feel like the real car. It's fun to be able to use all the power the Toronado has. Because let's face it, on the street, there's not a lot of places you can use a thousand horsepower. Well, I was honored to have the uh, founder of uh, Gran Turismo drive my car. あの、ま、テイロ出さないで運転するのが結構大変です。そうですね。あの、ジェイレノさんのね、車の趣味と僕の趣味は意外と合ってるんじゃないかって気もしていて、あの、もしかしたら、あの、グランドリスモを通じて
This is the cool thing about these kind of exercises. It, it generates new ideas. So in fact, this car is not so far from reality. So you can imagine that as being like the next SLS or so. Uh, you can easily just convert that, no problem. And um, you know, we bring out a real sports car, a new one next year. And, and it will actually carry a lot of this flavor of this car here. So what you see can be reality pretty soon. So how about that? The next time you see a concept car for the first time, it could be in a video game, moving and driving. And the cool thing about this car is you don't need a license to drive it. All you need is one of these. Mm-hmm. <laughs>